Hi guys, welcome back to CJ's Keto Kitchen. Well, it's not Taco Tuesday, but any day is great for something with a lot in flair. Tonight I'm going to be making beef empanadas. So come along with me and let's get started. <laughs> So an empanada is a type of turnover, it's very popular in Europe and Latin America, and it is basically a turnover style uh, dish. A lot of times they are sold in food trucks, anywhere that you can hold it in your hand. And so I'm going to be utilizing fathead dough to mimic that without all the carbs. But it is quite simple, it just requires a little bit of finesse and some patience. So let's go ahead and get started making this. So you're going to want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. Okay, so you are going to need of about a pound and a half of ground beef that I have cooked and seasoned. And I have just used my homemade taco seasoning. And we have the recipe for this up on our blog. So definitely cook your meat ahead of time. If you don't want to use ground beef, you'd rather use chicken or turkey or pork, you absolutely can. You just need some kind of previously cooked meat. So these an empanada require fathead dough, and I have made several recipes utilizing fathead dough. Fathead dough was created by Tom Naughton and is simply a dough made out of cheese, egg, and some almond flour. So to begin this, we need to melt our mozzarella cheese. And I have one and three quarter cups here in my bowl, and I have about a medium sized bowl. And you need to make sure that your bowl is microwavable. If you don't have a microwave, or you don't want to use the microwave, you can do this um, on the stovetop. So two are one and three quarter cups of mozzarella cheese. I need to add two tablespoons of cream cheese. And I'm using Philadelphia here because it is the lowest in carbs. And mine is already a little bit soft. It doesn't need to be soft, but I do find that it helps a bit. We are going to be microwaving this. So I'm going to start this in my microwave starting at one minute, and then I'm just going to continue microwaving in intervals until all of this is melted. So we're going to take a look here, and our mozzarella cheese is starting to melt, but you can see that there's still some solid pieces there. So we need to go some more time. So I'm gonna do another minute. Hot, so definitely remember to use a hot pad when you take it out of your microwave. The next step for this is adding our almond flour and we want three quarters of a cup. And at this point I also want to add a bit of seasoning because this is a blank canvas. So I'm going to add a little bit of salt. And I just have pink Himalayan sea salt. So I want to add a few shakes of ground cumin here just to give it that taco-y taste. And definitely use however much you like. I'm doing about two teaspoons. And we want to get this incorporated. Mixing our flour into our cheese and cream cheese mixture. Make sure you're scraping everything off the bottom of the bowl and getting it combined into that. Okay, now here's where we want to add our egg. 
and you want to make sure that your dough is not too hot because you don't want to cook your egg. So I just have one large egg and I'm putting it in there. Now, I have found that the best way to incorporate this is with your hands. So definitely make sure that your dough is cool enough to the touch, but not so cool that it is seizing up. So I'm just taking the egg and my clean hands and I'm working it into the dough. Just be patient, because this will take a little bit but just keep working it around and your egg will absorb into your fat head dough. Okay, so we're just going to let that sit for just a minute. To want two pieces of parchment paper, I have wet my countertop just to help it lay down. And these are probably about 14 inches. This is about the same size as my half sheet cookie sheet that I'm going to be using. So we want another piece that is about the same size, give or take. Parchment paper is essential for fat head dough in my opinion. So now we want to take our dough that we have made and it has just been sitting there. And we just wanna put it right in the middle of our parchment paper. Anytime you need to work with fat head dough, it gets very sticky very quickly. I recommend having a dish of water for you to work with it. All right, so we are putting our other piece of parchment paper over the top. And I'm going to take my rolling pin and I'm going to start rolling this out. And we just want to try and get a rough rectangle. Okay, so I have our cookie sheet here. And then I'm going to be using a silicone mat to do the bottom of our empanadas. Because I find that it is easier to get a rectangle shape using this as your guide. And then I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper over the top. And then I'm going to use my rolling pin to help me get a rectangular shape. And this kind of gives me a guide underneath my parchment paper so that we can get fairly even empanadas. Okay, so I am attempting to get a rectangular shape using my silicone mat as a guide. Okay, so I'm going to slowly peel off the parchment paper. If you run into any sticky spots, that's why we have our bowl of water here. push all the areas off our mat that we need to. I'm going to take a knife and just score some of this and bring it over here and add it on. Likewise, the bottom so that we'll be able to get this right on our cookie sheet when it's time. Just take and add or take away whatever you need with your water. Fat head dough is almost like Play Doh for keto. Keto Play Doh. So you can just add and take away as necessary, just using water as your glue. Okay, so here we have our basic rectangle. Now we are going to try and get five when empanada out of this. A 
I'm gonna go ahead and put my silicone onto my cookie sheet before I get everything stuffed. just to give them a tiny bit more space and I'm just using my fork to seal the edges like you see with empanadas and pierogies. Okay, there they are, our beautiful little empanada breadsticks. And we are going to put these in the oven. I'm going to start with 11 minutes, and then I'm going to check on them. And then we might need to go up to 15, depending on your oven. So we are going to go into the oven with these for starting at 11 minutes, but going up to 14 or 15, depending on your oven. So I'm starting with 11. So I let my empanadas go about 15 minutes. So once again, it's gonna depend on your own personal oven, of course. But you can see they're nice and golden brown. We're gonna let these cool off a little bit. And we are going to take CJ to Mexico for some beef empanadas. So, we have beef empanadas. We saw the empanada king on Bobby play last night. Yes, that's true. He did not win to go on, but. Got a good texture as far as the dough. I wouldn't know that this wasn't like some kind of bread. Good. Yeah, it's good. Flavorful. They came out good once you figure out how to do the rectangle. Mm hmm Yeah. It's a nice alternative to tacos. Mm-hmm. A lot of good flavors. I wonder if you can stuff empanadas. Can you stuff them with other stuff besides Oh, meat? anything. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, sometimes they even like in Peru and other places, they'll put different types of meat, raisins, olives. Wow. All, pretty much every country has a version. Wow. So yeah, you wouldn't have to make a taco. Yeah. I think people will like it. And I think you showed them how to do the fat, fat head dough pretty successfully. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for joining us again tonight, you guys. We hope that you enjoy the empanada. I know that we definitely are going to. We hope that you will consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you know when our new content goes up. On Wednesdays, we have keto conversations and we get together and talk about different ketogenic topics. Sometimes we have food unboxings. Sometimes we do grocery hauls or what we eat on this lifestyle. Then on Sunday, we have our new recipes. And I generally try to do too sweet and too savory every month. So definitely hit the bell so that you know when that happens and when they go live. We are also on social media. We are on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And we are also trying our hand at TikTok. And that is CJ's Keto Kitchen on all of those platforms. So definitely check us out. 
If you need any information for this particular recipe or any recipes that we have made in the past, those are all on our blog, and that is tjsketokitchen.com. There we have the ingredients, the macros, tips and tricks. CJ does his taste test follow-up over there, and that is a complete library for everything that we have made. So definitely head over there. We hope that you will come back and see us again, and until that time, be well. Bye. Thank you.